Hello, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself falling victim to what people are calling targeting, and given a series of disease-resulting conditions through parasites and fungus and energy weapons and nanotechnology and covert drugging and hypnosis and who knows what else. Uh, regardless of those facts, I wanted to share with you these thoughts. A small child, boy, girl, you, me, someone else, gets angry with their parents, the mother or father, caregiver, and thinks to themselves, I wish they were dead, or wish they would go away forever and leave me alone, or some such thing. Then, through fate, act of God, random chance, or probability alignment, that same parent that the child wished away gets in a horrible accident on the way home from work and dies. And the child is left to wonder if somehow they had a hand in the death of that loved one. This happens. It happens in death. Happens in divorce, happens in many instances. Now, we know that through quantum entanglement, our thoughts have some interaction with the creation of this reality that we experience, even if it's only to filter our perceptions of it. We know that causality is not always proven by a confluence. However, our subconscious mind, the mind that picks up all the information and stores it, the mind that filters it through our emotional state, filters it through our several brains, filters it through our senses, be they sensory or extra, filters it through our conscious awareness, but it doesn't judge it. It doesn't tell us if this thought is wrong or right. It doesn't tell us if this thought actually caused the injury or death to someone that we loved? No. It basically filters what we perceive based on our emotional state so that what we perceive, what we focus on, will continue to re-trigger that same emotional state as though it had a life of its own. We seek homeostasis of emotion, even if it feels bad, somehow we want to continue this. Now whether this is a conscious drive or a subconscious drive or a, a neuronal uh, excuse me, uh, you know, charge differential in the brain, um, I can't say. I'm sure there are those who can. However, this child or person is going to have to somehow, at some point, integrate this subconscious knowledge that they said something hurtful, they wanted something changed 
and somehow the universe changed it in a way that probably wasn't really what they wanted. And there are those who say, no, you don't have that much effect on reality.